Okay, scenario. The first thing you need to know how to do is to place the RNA scenario marker so you can start building your scenario. So go to build from the main menu, go to scenario. Um, for purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the academy. And you can edit literally any of these scenarios. I'm going to pick. I'm going to put the first one and then place down my own marker after that. So I'll click on a scenario and then click edit and wait for the scenario to load. Okay, once in the scenario editor in the root, we'll go over here, click scenario markers and click standard. This will bring out a standard scenario marker. So you might want to put that scenario marker somewhere near where you're going to start. For example, if I press 9, I can pick anywhere on the map. Like here where the aggregates are. So if I just go there. Wait for the wall to load in. And here we are on a different part of the map. So take our standard scenario marker and place it down. Like that, click yes. And this new scenario has been made. So over here is the scenario name. So this is the name of the scenario. You can call it something useful. I'm going to call it a demo. This is the description of the scenario. So the, the description will appear in the blue box on the main menu. The briefing is what appears during the driving of the train. So if you press F1 while driving a train, then on the left will be a panel, and then in the top left of the panel will be the scenario briefing. So author, the author is me. It would help if I could spell my name correctly. The location, the location is where the scenario will start. I don't know if that's too useful at all. Uh, date today's date is the 6th of July 2021. The rating is a rating is how difficult the scenario will be. So one is easy, five is hard. This is the duration. So this is how long the scenario will last in minutes. This is the start time of the scenario. So this is when the scenario will start. You can enter values between 0000, so midnight, and 2359. I'm going to put in the current time, which is 1223. This is the weather, so I can have it uh, clear, cloudy, cloudy showers, rain, foggy, cloudy, you know, different types of weathers. So I'm going to put it to overcast because I can. This is season, so you've got the four standard seasons so spring, summer, autumn, winter. I'm going to leave it as summer. And class, this is the type of train that the player will drive. So you could the player could drive a steam engine, diesel or electric. And I'm going to go diesel. So this is for simple controls. So this will force the player to use simple controls for whatever reason. This one will force the player to use expert controls. Um, this force cab camera will force the player to start in the cab instead of outside. This is a warning start. So this is useful this is useful if you want a train to start while on the move. Like you take and go over a train mid service. Also if you click down here next to TS fourteen radio button, so legacy gizmo you'll be able to view this legacy gizmo that allows you to rotate and move the time marker around. So you can move it up, you can move it down, you can rotate it left, rotate it right. You can put it in any orientation you like. So that's all I wanted to cover in this very short introductory tutorial. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more interesting content. Like the video if you're so inclined. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.